So the front squat uh, is an incredibly powerful exercise to improve lower body power, improve positioning of your spine when you sprint. Uh, to start a front squat, the first thing to do is figure out the grip that works best for you. Uh, a lot of times, the, the grip that you choose is limited by the range of motion within your shoulder, uh, tightness within your lats, or range of motion within your wrist. Uh, myself being a former Olympic lifting competitor, I have the range of motion within my lats and in my wrist to hold it in the rack position. So this is what we call uh, the rack position. From here, uh, athletes can either bring their arms across uh, so they have a little more freedom within their wrist, or if this is even uncomfortable, bring their hands all the way up in front. You know you're in the right position when you can, as my athletes and I tend to say, literally do the Macarena with the barbell across your shoulders. Uh, so once you have the bar positioning set up for your front squat, I move to the actual movement itself. Uh, throughout the past few years as a strength coach, I've seen some disgusting squats some that often make me cringe. Uh, terrible squats result in knees shooting forward, spines being flexed. Uh, the beauty of the front squat is you're really not able to flex your spine or let your knees shoot forward while maintaining the position of the bar. So like all squats, movement begins with a hip hinge. So first thing, sit into your hips, uh, press your knees out, squat 90 degrees or below, and stand right up. Uh, the beautiful thing about the front squat, uh, in order to maintain the proper positioning of your spine, your core has to fire properly. Uh, once you have that connection, uh, it directly correlates to your ability to sprint. Uh, poor running mechanics, kids often look like this, flexing their spine. You can say, oh, straighten out your back. But straighten out, straightening out your back doesn't necessarily fix the problem. It could actually be a strength issue. So, provide, so completing a squat, front squat will provide that isometric strength to maintain that position, which as you see, carries over directly towards when you sprint. So again, things to remember when you front squat, find the positioning, uh, dealing with a lot of overhead athletes, we deal with a lot of shoulder issues, lack, lack of range of motion within the lats. So find what's comfortable for you. Uh, make sure you stay off to your heels. Movement starts at your hips. So hinge at your hips, stay on your heels, uh, externally rotate at your hip rather than letting your knees collapse in. So externally rotate at your hips, sit deep, bring those hips through, and stand right up. Uh, that's the front squat.